Thank you, Ms. Encinares and Ms. Cristobal for that motivating icebreaker. Again, good day to everyone. Jean Laikati Hoves is speaking. Today's topic will be the Philippine Qualifications Framework or PQF. The presenters on this topic are Ms. Agmata, Ms. Kapili, Ms. Keragay, Ms. Cristobal, Ms. Encinares, and I, the leader of this group, Ms. Hoves. The objectives of this topic, at the end of the lesson, you will learn about the Philippine Qualification Framework, the benefits of this framework, the eight levels of descriptors of this framework, as well as the executive order, the institutionalization of the PQF, and lastly, the implementations of rules and regulations. Executive Order Number 83 Series of 2012, also known as the Institutionalization of the Philippine Qualification Framework, was signed by former President Benigno S. Aquino III on October 1, 2012. What is a qualification? It refers to a package of competencies describing a particular function or a job role in an economic sector. The qualification is packaged or set in the financial industry as average skills, competencies, or a unique job role. Also, qualification covers the work activities required to undertake a particular job. Now, what is the Philippine Qualifications Framework? The Philippine Qualification Framework is a national policy that describes the educational qualifications, the official recognitions of a person's learning achievements. The PQF also sets standards for qualification outcomes, which are the knowledge or skills gained by the students after undergoing a particular learning or educational program. So how do we use this framework? A quality assured national system for the development recognition and award of qualifications based on standards of knowledge, skills, values acquired in different ways and methods by learners and workers of a specific country. Next are the benefits of PQF for the people, the employers, the ENT providers, and the authority. First, the benefit of PQF for people is that it encourages lifelong learning by allowing the person to start at the level that suits him and then build up his qualifications as his needs and interests develop and change over time. So this framework shows pathways and equivalences to help them make informed choices in education and employment growth. As such, the framework promotes mobility, encourage lifelong learning, and build workforce confidence. The PQF provides standards for recognizing certificates and licenses that individuals may move through and process through. Next, the benefit of PQF for employers is that it assures the standards and qualifications are consistent with job requirements or demands. With the PQF, employers can reduce job mismatch and increase productivity. It provides employers the specific training standards and qualifications align with the industry and requirements. The PQF offers employers immediate information on what a worker can be expected to know and do. They are further assured that capabilities are consistent and based on the standards. Next, the benefits of PQF for ENT providers. ENT means the education and training providers. Is that it ensures transparency in training provisions, conformance to standards and preciseness of accountability for learning outcomes. 
It also provides a common understanding of policies and guidelines for creating transfers, articulations, portability, bridges, pathways, and PRL. As the PQF establishes a standard for education and training providers, it helps guarantee that these providers adhere to a specific benchmark and are accountable for achieving them, ultimately ensuring the quality of education and training. In addition, since the PQF provides common understanding of policies and guidelines in curriculum or program formulation and implementation, it also allows the seamless movement and progression of learners to and from further education and institutions. Last but not least, the benefits of PQF for the authorities is that it provides the government with a common standards taxonomy and typology of qualifications as a basis for granting approvals to providers and stakeholders. The Philippine Qualification Framework can help from unity as it harmonizes education and training qualifications in the country by establishing the institutionalizing qualification standards. Moreover, the Philippine Qualifications Framework helps policy and planning formulation through comparison with the qualification frameworks of other nations, encouraging the forging of mutual recognitions arrangements with the ASEAN and the other countries. For Filipinos, the PQF coordinates and balances education and employment opportunities for nation building and holistic economic growth. The PQF and its features as such quality assurance, qualification registrar, pathways and equivalences, and international alignment, strengthen technical education and consolidate education and employment resources. The next topic that Ms. Agmata and Ms. Karagay will discuss is the eight levels of descriptors of PQF. Ms. Agmata, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hobbes. And again, good day to each and every one. My name is Dosa Mariji Agmata and I'm assigned to report the topic about the 8th level qualification descriptors. In our educational system, we need to take one year in primary or kinder, six years in elementary level, while in secondary level, we need to take four years in junior high school and two years in senior high school. In this level, before we graduated in grade 10, we need to choose the right track that we will help us to our chosen college course. And there are four tracks including the academic track, technical vocational livelihood, or TVL track, sports track, and arts and design track. So now, let us go back to the academic track. So, in choosing the academic track means you have solid plans to proceed to college and this is divided into four strands. Number one is the Accountancy Business and Management or ABM. Two is the humanity, or I mean Humanities and Social Sciences or UMS. Third is the Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics or STEM. Fourth is the General Academic Strand or CAS. Number two track is a technical vocational livelihood track or also called a tech walk track. It is also divided into four strands that caters to those who want to work immediately after senior high school. Number one is the home economics strand. Two is the information and communication technology strand. Three is agri-fisher strand and four is industrial arts strand. If you've been thinking of taking up a TESTA program for any of these, then you should choose this strand. And after senior high school, you can apply for a TESTA Certificate of Competency or better yet, a National Certificate. Third is a sports track, and this is for athlete person. So after senior high school, you can already work for your way to becoming a professional athlete or have a sports-related job. And you can also proceed to college and take major in physical education. The last trend is the arts and design track. 
So, this track is for the artistic ones, not just in painting or drawing, but also in performing. So, choose this if you want to be a painter, singer, dancer, actor, sculptor, director, or any related job. And last is the tertiary level. This is your choice to study in TESTA program or get a degree. Now, let us proceed to the Elephant Qualification Framework or PQF. When we say Philippine Qualification Framework or PQF, it is actually a national policy that describes the level of qualifications or the level of educational qualifications of a person and sets the standard for the qualification outcomes for every profession. The Philippine Qualification Framework is a reference system of national standards of qualification that will be earned by an individual, either by a learner, graduates, professional, and worker that will support them under work mobility. It is a collaborative program by Department of Education or DepEd, Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA, Commission in Higher Education or CHED, Professional Regulation Commission or PRC and Department of Labor and Employment or DOLE and to support the needs of each individual in terms of taking the national quality certificates to support them either in their work or on their future careers or future careers. So the level 1 to 4 here, the national certificate 1 to 4 can be acquired in TESTA. They are the one who give national certificates. So you have to first undergo training for you to get the national certificates. While the level 6 to 8, it covers by CHED. And this level 5, which is the diploma, where these two subsystem interface and last is the grade 12 or the senior high school is the foundation of these eight levels. So the PQF has eight levels of qualification differentiated by descriptors of expected learning outcomes along the three domains, knowledge, skills, and values, application, and degree of independence. In grade 12, in the domains of knowledge, skills, and values, it possesses functional knowledge across a range of learning areas and technical skills in chosen career tracks with advanced competencies in communication, scientific, critical, and creative thinking, and the use of technologies. Also, have an understanding of right and wrong, one's history and cultural heritage, and deep respect for self, others, and their culture and the environment. Next is the application. It applies functional knowledge, technical skills, and values in academic and real-life situations through sound reasoning, informed decision-making, and the judicious use of resources. And last is in the degree of independence. It applies skills in varied situations with minimal supervision. So now... Let us discuss first level 1 wherein the type of qualification that will be earned is the National Certificate 1 or better known as NC1. So in this level, um, there are different types of attainments that each individual will attain in taking their National Certificate 1. So the knowledge, skills, and values, application, degree of independence, and the qualification type which is the na National Certificate one. So in the domains of knowledge and skills that are manual or concrete or practical or operational in focus, the applicant at this level will attain the knowledge and skills that are manipulated or to us skills that are worked through hands. So let us go back on our junior high school years, wherein there is what we call TLE. If you have remembered that in your high school, that in the subject we are taught with different skills, either in food processing, baking, cooking, or home services, and they have provided us some training in the skills and even present to us or invited us to take a national certificate one through these skills. Next domain is the application. 
We applied application in this level are set in a limited range of highly familiar and predictable contexts, meaning the application at this level is mainly more on a familiar and predictable context, um, where in the routine of this context are mainly addressed from a certain rules, guidance, and procedures. However, in directory of independence, in this level, the applicants are provided with support guidance or supervision and there is only a minimum job of judgment or discretion. Next is the level 2. So, in the level 2, the qualification that will be earned is the National Certificate 2 or better known as NC2. So, the same from the previous and the following levels, there are different attainments that the applicants in the National Certificate will attain. So in this level, in knowledge, skills, and values, the applicant at this level will attain the knowledge and the skills that are manual or work through hands. So the same with the level 1 or the National Certificate 1. However, the difference on the level 1 from level 2 is that the level 1 depends on the given choices wherein you will be taking the national certificate through the trainings that is or are given to you. However, the level 2 or national certificate 2 is given with a variety of options wherein you'll be taking this national certificate due based on your enrolled track in your senior high school years. So, if you have remembered that the trainings that are given and provided on our junior high school years are taken from the given skills under from the subject, which is the TLE. And it's not based on our choices but necessary to take because it is part of the subject. However, do the National Certificate 2 is taken depends on our choice or enrolled choice of track during our senior high school years. Next is in application. So the applied application in this level is familiar and predictable and the same with the level 1. The level 2 involves routine issues that are mainly identified from the address it or I mean set rules of guidelines and procedures. And last is the degree of independence. In this level is that it needs substantial support guidance or supervision and there is only a limited judgment or regression needed next is the level three so in the third level is the level three and the qualification that will be earned in this level is national certificate three or nc3 so in the domain of knowledge skills and values the applicants in this level are balance of theoretical and practical or balance of calculated context and actual work so when we say calculated context and practical it means a contribution of problem solving and making decisions to determine the process and now to determine the process equipment and materials to be used in the process so, unlike in the level 1 and 2, wherein the applicants are expected to attain the skill through just operational, the level 3 doesn't only need to be operational but also to be practical to determine the process of the work. So, the level 3 really needs understanding to the work process. Next domain, so in this level, have to be minded for the possible situations that would possibly happen during the process. So in the application, there are set in context with some unfamiliar and unpredictable aspects. It involves routine and non-routine issues which are identified and addressed by interpreting and applying established guidance and procedures with some variations. So that is why the applicants in this level must have to be practical and minded for the possible situations. Because in the context, there is possibility that will happen in a process that are unpredictable. So it really needs contribution of problem solving. Next is the degree of independence. So in this level, the applicant is involved or involves an individual responsibility. So because being practical to the possible situation is our own responsibility or otherwise your responsibility to others. 
It's your responsibility to seek solution to the unpredictable aspects that may happen and the participation in teams, including team or group coordination, may be involved in this level. And that is all about the grade 12 to level 3 in the Philippine Qualification Framework or the level or the 8th level qualification framework. And now, may I call on Ms. Catherine Caragay to continue the level 4 to level 8. Thank you, Ms. Agmata. Good day, each and everyone. My name is Katherine Caraga and I am assigned to report the preceding models. As for the level 4, the qualification type here is the National Certificate 4. The knowledge, skills, and values here are mainly theoretical or abstract with significant depth in one or more areas. Dito level up na, you can finally evaluate and analyze current practices and even develop your own criteria and procedures of doing something. As for its application, your knowledge, skills, and values could be applied through a number of unfamiliar or unpredictable aspects involved largely non-routine issues which are addressed using guidelines or procedures which require interpretation or adaptation. As for its degree of independence, at this point you can finally be a leader and guidance when you are organizing your own activities and even others' activities. As for the level 5, the qualification type here is the diploma. The knowledge, skills, and values are mainly theoretical and abstract with significant depth in some areas together with wide-ranging specialized technical, creative, and conceptual skills. The more na nag level up yung tao, nag level up rin, yung kain yung gawin. They can perform work activities demonstrating breadth, depth, and complexity in the planning and initiation of alternative approaches to skill and knowledge application across a broad range of technical or management requirements, evaluation, and coordination. As for its application, we can apply those knowledge, skills, and values in complex and non-routine which require an extensive interpretation or adaptation or innovation. The degree of independence, your judgment is required for planning and selecting appropriate equipment, services, and techniques for self and other. You can also undertake work involving participation in the development of strategic initiatives as well as personal responsibility and autonomy in performing complex tactical operations or organizing orders. As for the level 6, the baccalaureate degree is the qualification type here. To get the baccalaureate degree, you need to graduate of baccalaureate program. The knowledge, skills, and values, they can demonstrate broad and coherent knowledge and skills in their field of study for professional work and lifelong learning. They can apply their knowledge in professional work or research in a specialized field of the discipline or further study. In terms of degree of independence, they can be independent or be inter in teams of related fields with minimal supervision. As for the level 7, the post-baccalaureate program is the qualification type here. The post-baccalaureate program is a program that makes you prepared for the more higher level, the doctorate degree, doctoral degree. You can only take it after matapos sa iyo baccalaureate degree. 
the knowledge, skills, and values demonstrated here are advanced and specialized or multidisciplinary field of study for professional practice, sector research, and or lifelong learning. As for its application, they can it can be applied in professional or creative work of research that requires self-direction or leadership in a specialized or multidisciplinary professional work or research. For the degree of independence, he or she have a high substantial degree of independence that involves exercise of leadership and initiative in individual work or in teams of multidisciplinary field. And so now we are finally in the last level, level 8. Its qualification type is the doctoral degree and postdoctoral programs. In terms of knowledge, skills, and values, the person demonstrated highly advanced systematic knowledge and skills in highly specialized or complex multidisciplinary field or learning for complex research or professional practice for the advan advancement of learning. For its application, you can apply those knowledge, skills, and values in professional leadership for innovation, research, and development management in highly specialized or multidisciplinary field. And for its degree of independence, they are fully independent here in terms of individual work and in terms of or individual work and in terms of, of multidisciplinary and more complex setting that demands leadership for research and creativity for strategic value added significant level of expertise based on and accountability that's all about my report about the levels thank you for listening